Welcome to the Data Access Platform at climateinformation.org. Here you can find some short overview instructions on how to use this platform. We start with visualising an indicator. There is a series of filters to help you choose the indicator to visualise. You can select the type of indicator, the specific indicator within that type, whether or not you want to see a 30-year average or a monthly average. Then you can select the model ensemble that you wish to visualise. You can choose about bias-adjusted data and then look at the specific ensemble member or the median of the ensemble. Lastly, you can also select different time periods and emission scenarios depending on what you're interested in. Click Show Filter Result and as you scroll further down, you'll see a table with available indicators. Click on a row to select an indicator. You can use the filter function to decrease the number of data sets in the table. Here you see the visualized indicator to show the spatial trends around the globe. There is a legend at the bottom of the map. And you can click to select a point. As you scroll further down, this is reflected in the area of interest. The graph shows the change compared to the historical period for the indicator that you have selected. You can download this figure. Lastly, there is a table showing the change compared to historical period, with the model results for the area that you chose. If you scroll back up, you can then look at downloading an indicator. You can select the file using the same filter mode that we used before. You can choose to select a city or a specific coordinate within the map. And then you can also select what radius you are most interested in. If it is the point, a 50 km, 100 km or 200 km area. You can select the format of the file that you wish to download. We have provided a disclaimer. And then you see a selected data summary. This summarizes the metadata and information about the data that you're about to download. Click Download Indicator to download the data set. Here you see the Climate Indicator, Model Ensemble, 30-year averages and the date of download. You can see the information for the reference period, early, mid and end century.